welcome back problem 2.38 so in this problem it is given that compressive centric force of 40 kips are applied at both end of the assembly shown by mean of rigid and plate so this is the assembly this is the uh, given assembly i have shared it that and that is uh, compressed by centric force Knowing that ES is equal to steel for steel modulus of elasticity is this and for aluminium it is given as 10.1 into 10 to the power 6 PSI. Determine in part A the normal stress in the steel core and aluminium shell and in part B it is given that deformation of the assembly. So let's start with the given data. So first of all I will write given data. In given data it is that centric force p is equal to 40 kilonewton so it is compressive so minus 40 kips replied e s for steel is 29 into 10 to the power 6 psi similarly e of a which is aluminium 10.1 into 10 to the power 6 psi clear and dimension diameter is given of aluminium shell this is aluminium shell clear and this is the steel core and that is applied by compressive force p by using plates clear so this is the p load so what we have to find we have to find the normal stress in a part we have to find normal stress in steel core and normal stress in aluminium core and b part we have to find the deformation in the assembly now we will start move toward the solution we know that due to this load p there the load will be taken by some of the portion of load is taken by this aluminium shell clear this is the aluminium shell while some of the load will be taken by this core clear so let p a is equal to portion of axial load portion of axial load or axial force carried by aluminium shell by shell clear and p b is equal to portion of load of axial force carried by core clear and we know that this total load will be equal to p a plus p b also due to this load deformation which is equal to del is equal to p into l divided by AE this is the general equation so deformation in both shell and steel core will be the same so it will be equal to del S is equal to del aluminium and that is PL over AE so we know that we know that deformation in uh, um, steel is equal to p of steel sorry this is pb so p p in p steel uh, sorry not steel uh, aluminium uh, one is steel and one is uh, aluminium so for steel core this load is pb so pb into l length is same divided by area of steel clear into e s of steel and since we know that del s is equal to delta so from here we can put this deformation is equal to p into l divided by a s into e s and from here you can get this is p b before steel so from here you can get this p b load taken by the steel core is equal to e s into a s into delta divided by total length l clear now 
for aluminium core for alum, for alum, aluminium shell this delta uh, aluminium will be equal to pa load taken by aluminium shell divide l divided by a of aluminium into e of aluminium again e delta is equal to del of aluminium so from here you can put del is equal to pa into l divided by area of steel uh, aluminium shell into e of aluminium so from here you can get load taken by aluminium shell is equal to ea into aa into del divided by l so we have basically two equation one is this one the second one is this one clear and we know that we have another equation that is this one so you, you can put the value of p a and p b in this so we will get this p is equal to p a is equal to e a into a a into del divided by l plus p b is e b into area of uh, core that is a b into or you can see that is a s which is the area of steel into del divided by l okay so in both of these two terms we can get common that is del over l so we will only left with e a into a a plus e b into a b or a b or you can see a of steel okay also uh, we know that uh, this strain is equal to change in length divided by original length clear and if you check this equation p is equal to this so we can also write it as uh, uh, p into p is equal to this term this term is equal to uh, strain so strain into e a a a plus e b not e b you can see this is e s this i have so you can write it e s this is e s this will be not uh, aluminium es again so i have to go back okay so in term of in instant of eb you have to write es because this is for steel into as clear now this uh, strain will be equal to p divided by ea into aa plus es into as this is the strain and this strain is again equal to change in length divided by original length from given data from given data we know that p is equal to 40 kips so 40 into 10 raised to the power 3 pounds clear we do not know a a a s we have only e a e s and p so let's find a s so area of steel core is equal to pi by 4 d square and d for this uh, shell is uh, sorry for core is one inch clear so you can put the value so area of shell is equal to one square which gave you 0 0.75758 square inch area of aluminium shell which is aa is equal to pi by 4 into you can see this is a hollow shell outer diameter is 2.5 and inner diameter is 1 inch so 2.5 square 2.5 square minus 1 square when you calculate it it will give you 4.12 square inch now you have these values clear 
you can put it in this formula so your strain will be equal to p is 40 into 10 raised to power 3 divided by ea which is given as 10.1 and es is this one so ea is 10.1 into 10 raised to power 6 into aa which is 4.12 clear plus es which is 29 into 10 raised to power 6 into as and as is 0 0.7854 square inch so as this load is negative because uh, compressive so we have st negative strain means reduction clear so this strain comes out to be after calculating this strain is 6, six minus 620.91 into 10 raised to power minus 6 now we'll move to our first part that is about uh, stress in steel so that is you know that stress is equal to modulus of elasticity of steel into strain so modulus of elasticity of st steel is 29 into 10 to the power 6 and the strain is minus 620.91 into 10 to the power minus 6. So when you calculate it, it will be minus 18.01 into 10 to the power 3 PSI. So it means that steel stress is equal to minus 18.01 KSI. So this is your first part answer. Now we have been asked to find out the stress in aluminium shell and that is equal to E of aluminium into strain. And E of aluminium is 10.1 into 10 to the power 6 into strain is again minus 620.91 into 10 to the power minus 6. So from here it you will get minus 6.27 into 10 to the power 3 PSI. Our stress in aluminium comes out to be minus 6.27 KSI. So this is a stress in aluminium. Clear. We will move toward our second part that is about deformation. And you know that... Uh, strain is equal to change in length divided by original length so we have original length as well as strain so from here you will get this deformation that is equal to l into strain so length of this rod is given as 10 inch so 10 multiplied by strain is minus six two zero point nine one into 10 to the power minus 6 inch so you will get this is equal to um, minus 6.21 into uh, 6.21 into 10 to the power minus 3 inch So this is the answer of our second part. So I hope you have uh, sufficient knowledge and you will be able to solve such type of problems about stress and strain or axial loading. Thank you for watching.